Welcome everyone. So this is a very nice problem. I personally like this problem a lot. So this was what? 7, sorry, 49 raised to x equals to x raised to 14. So now if you look closely, what happens is that 49, this number 49 and 14, both of them can be written in terms of 7. Okay, so let's do that. So this then becomes what? 7 raised to 2, the whole raised to x. And here you have x raised to 7 into 2. Okay. So I hope you all have understood till here. Now your entire job becomes very very easy. You know why? Because if you take or rather actually let me just do one more step ahead. So here I can write this as nothing but what 7 raised to 2x. And this can be written as what x raised to 7 into 2. Okay, now next step is very very easy. What we'll do is taking square root. So what is a square root? Square root of any number can also be written as what a raised to 1 upon 2. So instead of putting a square root, I'm just going to multiply the index by 1 upon 2 on both the sides. And now if you see things are getting cancelled. So I can say 7 raised to x equals to x raised to 7 right so i hope you all have understood what you can do from here you can therefore say that i can take the seventh power on sorry seventh root on both the sides okay so once i do that this becomes what seven raised to x into one upon seven equals to x and obviously here also there is a 1 upon 7, here also there is a 1 upon 7. Okay, so this and this is getting cancelled. So here you just have x raised to 1. Now in order to shift your variable on another side, we'll take the xth root on one up, uh, on both these sides. So here this 1 will get multiplied by 1 upon x. So your x's are getting cancelled. So your entire question now changes to 7 raised to 1 upon 7 equals to x raised to 1 upon x. So now this is in the format of the bases and indices being equal on both the sides of equal to. Okay. So when you have that, you can directly say that A equals to B. So therefore, I can say X value is nothing but just 7. Okay. Now for those, you, you know, if you want, we can just cross verify this. Let's put value of 7 over here. So we have what? 49. Sorry. Let me change the pen. And instead of writing 49, I'll write it as what? 7 raised to 2, right? 7 square into 49, that is what? Sorry, into x, that is what? 7 over here. So this then comes out to be what? 7 raised to 14. And let's put the value of x on your RHS. So this then becomes what? Instead of x, we will get what? 7 raised to 14. And that is equal to your LHS. So I hope you all have gotten the hang of solving these kind of questions. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.